friends in Jesus Christ, in today's gospel we see that Jesus is telling about the smartness of the steward and his master did not like him and he wants to send him away or fire him from the job that he had given him. So the steward smartly works that he is calling the debtors and asking them how much you have owed to your master. Then if, this, uh, if the debtor says that uh, I have owed 100 rupees, then he says you write 80 and it's so on. He does like that, you know. In those times, the landlords, they will not come to the people and asking for uh, the rent. They appoint a steward like this and uh, the steward will take care of uh, collecting the rent from the people. So this steward is uh, making use of that opportunity, being very smart and collecting from the people or asking them to write in such a way and these people when they pay the rent the amount that already they owed to the master so this steward is asking them to pay the rent which is lesser, lesser amount than which they owed to their master so there will be support for this steward from the people so this is one of the ways that a steward is being very smart and in today's gospel we can see that you know step by step how we have to live that Jesus was preaching or teaching the people of those times. Firstly you know we give more importance to our earthly things. We do activities, we go for parties, we enjoy and whatever the actions that we do it is only for our own body and it is worldly activities. We give more time, we give more importance. but do i give more important to uh, more importance to my soul we have to spend time for uh, for our souls so we spend time in uh, worldly things no problem but do the same uh, spend the same time for your soul as well you know this is what we need to do this is one of the thing that jesus was telling uh, to his disciples to the people of those time and secondly when you see that the when the rich is helping the poor it in a way the poor is helping the rich how the world the world which is going to come with the Jesus Christ if the rich is helping the poor so in a way the poor will help the rich to enter into the new new world that is to come when Jesus comes for the second time that is another way and thirdly when you see that you know however the rich that we have we can use use it for selflessly selflessly for any purpose whatever i want to do however i want to enjoy i want to buy food i want to go to some hotel and spend spend the money lavishly whatever i want to do i can do it but can i use that money for some good purpose can i can i give a uh, a stu give, a, give to the student who want, who do not have money. Can I give, a, give? Can I spend some money for the poor, or can I give some money to the person who is not having any work and so on? So I have many ways to spend my money, but you have to spend your money according to the will of God because that will help you t uh, to enter into the world which is to come when Jesus comes for the second time. And thirdly, when you see that, uh, fourthly, when you see that, you know, Jesus is telling that uh, whatever the uh, wealth that you have now, so you have it, but you may not possess it eternally. Because when you die, you may not go, uh, carry those property, those money, those clothes, whatever you have, the jewelries and so on. You may not uh, going to take those things with you when you die, but you may, you have it. You are not owner of it. Fully you are not owner of it because you are not going to carry it uh, wherever you go. But the Lord is telling, if uh, the wealth that you have, how you use those wealth in your earthly life will decide when you, when you are going to enter into the heaven. So that time, whatever the wealth that the Lord is going to give you, so this, uh, how you use this wealth, so that same thing you will be receiving in the world to come. And you have to be responsible to the small task. So whatever the task that is given to you, the small task, when you are very faithful and honest to the small task, so higher task will be given to you 
even even in the world if you are very faithful to the small task so you are given high position high authority to take over and do the work uh, holding the high post uh, like example you can say if you are uh, working in uh, railway station if you are doing things very well they may appoint you to be you know taking uh, checking the you know checking the tickets from people and if you are very faithful and honest they may give you a higher position so you may take in charge of you know uh, supervising the workers however they are working or not so when you are being faithful so you'll be given more work more work higher responsibility higher rank so that shows that you are very honest and you are doing your work honestly and uh, taking the responsibility seriously and when you see the last point that jesus says you know the servant cannot serve two masters because the slave in those time they may not have any time for themselves because whatever the work they have to do they will do it for the owner the owner or the master of that particular slave because this master do not give any personal time for the slave he continually works for his master he, and he will not have any personal time so you have to work like that for god always working for god always thinking for god always doing something for god not for personal self you know this is one of the point that jesus was telling uh, telling the people of those times so when you look into this gospel can i live like that you know having the wealth can i use it the wealth for a good purpose i use it for myself at the same time if i have excess uh, excess of wealth so much of wealth do i have after using can i spend it for others is that possible so when i share it with others then the lord will be pleased to allow us to enter into the world that is to come therefore my dear friends let us share what we have if possible so that we will be pleasing god in our day to day life thank you